Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. If you have any question, please write to me at walkwithtak at gmail.com regarding this video or any other video that I have posted in the past. If you have any videos that you would like me to make, please let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Even till today, when I go to a Asian Chinese grocery store, such as the one to park to shop the Hong Kong supermarket in Aurora, uh, I always overwhelmed by the kind of noodles that they have. They have a long noodle aisles. I have not counted, but they probably have approximately 60 to 70 different kinds of noodles. Now, of course, the noodles there are divided into different categories. They have wheat noodles, rice noodles, sweet potato noodles, and quite often they also have mung bean noodles. When you have all these different types of noodles and they further divide it into different kind of thickness, different brand, this is really overwhelming. However, I decided I'm going to test as many noodles as I can because uh, I do enjoy noodles. And recently, since I find a good way to cook noodles and as well as to store them, it gives me a lot of opportunities to try the noodles in different forms. So this is a noodle that I found this time when I went to the Park to Shop Hong Kong supermarket. I found this weak noodles, and this noodle is from Taiwan. It is called knife cut noodles. But the reason I guess it's called knife cut noodles is that they actually uh, cut the noodles uh, with knife. Now this noodle is relatively broad, and it has a wavy edge. So it's just interesting looking noodles, and I decided I'm going to give it a try. Now when I brought the noodle back home, I realized that um, I can cook all of them. And in fact, the best way to cook noodles I discovered is to cook it in a wok, as I have mentioned earlier. Now, of course, it is better to have a stainless steel wok, because with a stainless steel wok, you don't have to worry about uh, when you boil water in the wok, it's going to remove that protective oil film. And this will lead to the wok from rusting if you do not dry it properly. And a stainless steel wok is best for this purpose. And this is the reason I strongly suggest people to have stainless steel wok because it is uh, less care, easy to maintain. Now, uh, the wok that I'm going to use is not the, the wok that I've normally used, which is a Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok. I'm using a, a cook standard 13-inch stainless steel wok. In fact, this is the first stainless steel wok that I ever had. I have to tell you the funny story because uh, when I first got this wok, uh, I really do not know how to season it. I remember I cooked an egg in it. Uh, the first egg I cooked in it, it burned terribly to the surface of the wok. In fact, it took me probably about uh, an hour trying to clean off all the stuff that stick to the surface of the wok. I was really disappointed. And uh, in fact, uh, I then stored the wok in the basement. I went back to my wok with uh, nonstick coating and it took me another couple of years to return back to this wok. Now I am able to season this wok with my spot seasoning method. I have no problem of foot sticking and burning to the surface of the wok. Because of this wok is useful, in addition to stir frying, I can use it in many other cooking functions, such as boiling noodles in it. The wok turned out to be perfect for this purpose because of their large openings, uh, you can manipulate the noodles easily. And furthermore, as you will find that uh, later, that because of this large opening, uh, you can keep the water in full boil uh, without having them boil over. And this definitely has a great advantage. I have learned that uh, noodles you can do advanced prepping as you would do with any other food ingredients as well. So instead of just boiling the noodles that I need for a particular meal, I will boil all of them. In this case, this is a one pound package. I boil the entire package. The reason is that because I now I know how to store noodles. After you boil them, uh, you just drain them and you store them in a uh, plastic container like any other things that you would store in. In fact, you don't even need to do anything with it. You don't need to add any oil or any salt. It will store it really well. In fact, most noodles, uh, you can store them for up to about 10 days. And when you're ready to use it, uh, you can use it in many different capacities. Now, this noodle has been suggested that you can use it as a chow mein, which means that you cook the noodles with ingredients directly in the wok together, or you can use it as a low mein. In this case, you can add ingredients to noodles that have already been boiled and has been dry and removed the water. And of course, you can also use these noodles in a soup noodles. So in this particular video, uh, I'm going to use these noodles uh, as a uh, low mein because I'm going to create a sauce to go with these noodles. The dish is very simple and very easy to do. 
and then what I will do is that I will mix it up with some ingredients uh, such as scallions. In fact, you can mix it with anything that you would like. Uh, the possibility is almost limitless. So as I'm boiling the noodles, it only takes about four minutes to boil the noodles. And after I finish uh, to the boiling it to the texture that I want, uh, I have a large uh, bowl of cold water. And I have this colander, which is uh, excellent. It's very inexpensive. But the size of this is great because this will allow me to handle all the noodles that I have boiled in this wok. Once the noodle has boiled to a certain texture, it's important that you stop the cooking right away uh, because this would uh, prevent the noodle from overcooking. Now, traditionally, people advise that you drain the hot water from the noodles and then you rinse it with cold water. But I find that actually the better way to do it is to actually transfer the noodles to a bowl of cold water. In fact, this will stop the noodle from cooking much faster, particularly if you have a large bowl of cold water like I have. I have this large colander and I transfer the noodles directly to it and that will stop the noodle from cooking immediately. At the next step, then I take the entire colander over to the sink. I will drain the water and that's all I need to do. I don't even need to have to rinse it. And that saves a lot of time. Uh, to me, home cooking, uh, the most important thing is efficiency. Anything you can do to save the extra step to achieve the same result, you definitely should do it. Okay, now the noodle is ready. Uh, I'm going to use whatever I need for tonight's dinner, and I'm going to store the rest for the following days. I'm going to make this noodle dish into a lo mein, uh, which is, means that I'm going to create gravy to go with it. Uh, this noodle will be a side dish to another salmon dish that I cook as well. Now to cook this lo mein dish actually very simple. The main thing is that you need to create a gravy. Now here I'm going to show you how to create a gravy that you can use it in almost other type of situation that you need a gravy. Uh, the best gravy that uh, in this purpose is to use cornstarch. Of course, you can use uh, many other type of starch as well uh, or use flour. Cornstarch is most convenient because it's most available. Uh, I create a cornstarch solution. In this case, I use one part of cornstarch to three parts of water. Uh, for this particular lo mein dish, I estimated that I probably will use one tablespoon of cornstarch to three tablespoons of water. I shake them up to make it into a cornstarch suspension. And then I uh, use my wok. I heat up the wok and I do not heat it up too much and then I pour the cornstarch into the wok. Now, as you notice that as soon as I pour the cornstarch into the wok, the cornstarch start to form clumps right away, also form this uh, gel-like texture. At this point, I realized that uh, my cornstarch is too thick, which I expected that it's going to be. Uh, unfortunately, cornstarch uh, is very easy uh, to change its consistency. All you have to do is to add water. I have some hot water on hand, I pour the hot water into the wok and I use the wok spatula to mix things up. As you can see that it is very easily for you to dissociate the clumps and to create a more consistency that you will want in the form of a gravy. Now the next step is to season the gravy. Now there are many different ways to season the gravy. In this case, I'm going to use three seasoning agents. I will use a combination of oyster sauce, soy sauce and my wok with pack basic seasoning mix. Now because I already have a lot of experience with all of these free seasoning agents, I'm making an estimation of what the flavor is going to be like for me. I will add a start out with a small amount and I will gradually add more and then I will do a taste test and make adjustment accordingly. Uh, most of the time, I'm pretty much on the mark. But if you are a beginner, you might want to start out with a little bit and then slowly make adjustment uh, to reach the flavor that you want. I will start out with oyster sauce and then you will taste it and then you will add more oyster sauce if you want more saltiness. And then finally, you will add the basic seasoning mix, which will make the uh, gravy more savory. And then you can make further adjustments by adding any one of these three uh, seasoning agents uh, to reach the flavor that you like. And to create a lo mein, you don't need to cook the noodles at all. All you have to do is uh, pour the gravy directly over the noodles. Uh, this makes it very simple and straightforward. 
this will give the noodles that gravy texture, which actually in many ways very similar to a spaghetti dish. Same idea. And then the next step is that I'm going to add some chopped scallions. I will mix the scallions into the noodles. And this will give the noodles a nice scallion flavor. So in this case, the noodle has its own flavor. And you really don't need to add anything else. And you can eat it the way as it is. But in this case, I'm going to have it go with other stir-fry dish that I made earlier. And the final step is that I'm going to garnish the noodles with uh, scallions that cut into strips. This is the lower portion of the scallions and will give the noodle much stronger onion-like flavor. So here it is. This dish is very simple. Now, I really like these noodles. And these noodles remind me very much of noodles that you find in a chicken noodle soup. The noodles has very similar texture to that. And I think these noodles will do a great job if you want to use uh, for a chicken noodle soup. And these noodles probably also will work very well with spaghetti as well. So if you come across these noodles in your next trip to an Asian supermarket, uh, you can uh, give it a try and use the method that I show you here, I don't think you will be disappointed. It turned out to be a very nice complement to any other dishes that you cook. Okay, I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine using my fast cooking system. Using this cooking system, you will make your home cooking practical, efficient, creative, and fun. If you'd like to learn more about this cooking system, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.